Hello Year 7, it's Lesson 7 of Desert Island School and this lesson is called New Discovery. It's Mrs Bart to take you through this lesson today. For this lesson, you need your usual equipment, your workbook, a writing pen. You'll need to refer to your knowledge organiser if you need to remember something and a dictionary and thesaurus always helps. We'd also like you to turn off the notifications on your phone or even better to turn off your phone and put it into another room so that you can focus on the learning today. As you and your class are finding your way around the island, you make a new discovery. You find an animal that is native to the island, but it has never been seen before. This animal possesses magical qualities and you decide to document what you have discovered. Your do now is to think and list magical qualities that your animal might have for activity one. Press pause to do this and unpause when you're ready to move on. Today's learning objectives are to understand how to use show don't tell and also understand how to use the zooming in method, method to write effective description. Let's think a little bit harder about the show don't tell method. This is going to help us to complete activity two. You need to use the show don't tell method to capture your reaction to discovering this animal. First of all, think about how you might be feeling. And here's where some excellent vocabulary choices will help you. Here are some words to get you started, stunned, startled, dumbfounded. Dumbfounded means that you're so shocked you can't think of anything to say. Don't forget you can also use sensory description, something that you learnt about a few lessons ago. Here's some questions to get you started. What does the animal look like? What sounds does it make? What does it eat? What does it feel like? Fur, hair, Maybe scales, feathers. Does it smell of anything? Remember, you are describing an animal so that you can remember all the characteristics and think of all the characteristics of animals you already know. But don't forget you're not limited to just that and you can be a little bit more imaginative. You don't have to be realistic about everything. Press pause and write down some of the ideas you have. Let your imagination run wild. You have some time now, if you'd like to, to draw the animal that you have discovered. There's a space for that in activity three. When you've finished, Move on. I'm now going to talk to you about the zooming in method. Here's a way of helping you to describe in the show don't tell way. Before writing your full description, you need to choose one particular feature of your animal. It could be the eyes, the claws, the scales, wings, it's an animal from your imagination, so you pick the detail that you want to focus on. You're going to only describe this part of your animal in detail. So the zooming in method allows you to include more detail in your descriptive writing. I want you to imagine you've been given a magnifying glass and 
you're looking closely at just one particular feature of your animal. Let's take a look at this model. There's a strange creature, looks like a wolf, but he's got wings. So maybe we would focus on those wings, because that's not normally what we'd expect to see as a feature of a wolf. Here's an example of a zoomed in description. The mystical wolf stretched out its wings. The smaller feathers blended intricately with the larger ones. Each individual feather had an iridescent glow with a silver lining. It was as if its wings were fine quills, leaving an afterglow as the wolf took to the sky. As the wolf flew higher, it was but a silhouette against the orange-kissed sky. For activity four, think about the feature of your animal that you want to, do, to zoom into and then spend some time writing about just that feature. Remember sensory description, show don't tell and upgraded vocabulary using your dictionary and thesaurus if you have one to hand. Press pause, take your time with this activity and press play when you're ready to move on. You're now ready to describe in detail the creature you have discovered. Try now to zoom in on several features of your animal, now that you've got used to describing one feature in detail. This is your final activity of this lesson, activity five. I hope you enjoy describing the animal of your imagination.